Hey everyone, Andrigats here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick and easy guide on all the 8 dragon riding glyphs which have been added in the Forbidden Reach. The starting leveling zone for Dragthir will now be available to all players to play in patch 1007. So without further ado, let's jump right in. First glyph is the Frost and Spine which is hovering on top of an icy mountain slope at the old Wearing Grounds, at the south side of the zone. Not far from here lies the second dragon glyph, Talon Lord's Perch, which is hovering inside the top of a tower just a bit to the east side. The location on the map is right here. If you continue moving further to the east side, you will encounter the third dragon glyph, which is called Storm Sunder Mountain. This dragon glyph can be found as indicated by its name at the Storm Sunder Crater on top of the mountain. And here's the location on the wall map. The fourth dragon riding leaf can be found in the eastern island, the Dragon Skull Island, and it's above this small mountain between the trees. From here you can easily get to the fifth dragon leaf, basically you need to head to the mainland and aim towards this very tall tower. Inside this tower you will find the Frostone Pink dragon leaf, which is hovering just below the roof. And that's also the location of the map, basically it's a bit to the right of the Froststone Vault. Next, the sixth dragon glyph is in the caldera of the Menders area, inside this small broken tower. This was actually the trickiest to spot because it was quite low, so just remember it's just above the ground level. Don't look for it any higher and it's at the west side of the map. Moving on to the seventh dragon glyph named Winglord's Purge, this one is located at the top left island of the Forbidden Ridge, and again it's inside a small broken tower. And here is the exact location on the map. And with that we have arrived at the final dragon glyph, the Talon's Watch, which can be found at the base of a tower at the bottom left corner of the zone, in this very far southwest island. And with that we covered all 8 dragon glyphs which can be found in the Forbidden Ridge. All of the points you get can be used to unlock 2 extra dragon riding trades. The first trade you will unlock is called Aerial Alt and it pretty much does what it says. It stops you from moving forward, especially great for when you want to land and you are going at very high speeds. Basically it decreases your speed so you can easily land. The second ability you will unlock is named Airborne Recovery, which is a passive trait that gives you one Vicor if you have the top speed blue swirly thing going on when you use the Aerial Alt. So when you have this passive trait unlocked, you will regenerate one Vicor whenever you use Aerial Alt and you previously have the Thrill of the Skies. Also, some extra tips here. Make sure to download the TomTom Tom and Pace add-ons so you can directly copy and paste all the glyph coordinates into your game. That makes it especially easy to find all the glyphs. I have everything down in the description box for you, so make sure to check it out. In addition to that, you can keep track of all of the glyphs you get via the Glyph Hunter achievement. This shows exactly the progress you have, so it makes it a lot easier to find what glyphs you might be missing. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and if you got any questions, feel free to ask away in the comment section down below. As always, thank you so much for watching my content, and if you want to support my channel, please take a moment to subscribe and hit the notification bell. You can also find me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash games, where I'm mostly streaming World of Warcraft. Good luck with whatever you're doing, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye!